Hi, I'm going to show you how I made this beaded flower bracelet on my rainbow loom. In order to follow along, I suggest that you do the starburst pattern many, many, many times. Uh, first, there are great instructional videos that will take you step by step through the starburst pattern. I'm going to teach this assuming that my viewers already know how to do the starburst and are looking for the next challenge and to further enhance their designs by adding beads into the pattern. So here we go. Now, it is extremely important to remember whenever you're doing one of these patterns that the order you put the rubber bands on is very important. If you don't put the rubber bands on in the right order, then when you take it off the loom after doing all your work, it's not going to stay together. So, here we go. We're going to start down here. Number one. Number two. Number three. We're going to go straight up the whole side. and curve in at the end and then come back to the beginning again and put them on along the outer edge Now I've done this a lot of times, so I'm pretty fast at putting these rubber bands on. If you have not caught up, now is a perfect time to hit pause to make sure that your loom looks like mine does, which is one rubber band going this way and then going along these lines and then back together up top. Okay, so You've done that. Now we're gonna work on adding in our starbursts using this pattern. And again, the order that you put these rubber bands on is important. It seems as simple as a circle, uh, but you'll find if you're trying to follow along later for where I'm hooking, if you haven't done it in the same order I have, you're much more likely to get lost. So for number one, we go from the center up on this chart. Number two, the center out. Number three, center down. Number three, number four, Number five. And number six. Oh, I realize I should have shown you this before. These are basic pony beads. You can buy them at Michael's, at AC Moore, at any of your sort of standard crafting stores. Probably most toy stores will have them too. To put your rubber band on, you simply pinch it and slide it through the center. So I set these up beforehand just to make the video go quicker, but I'll do a few of them so that you can see how that works. Give more green. Go 
going to need one of those green ones next to represent the leaves on our flower bracelet. Okay. Number seven. Now eight with the bead on it. Eleven. I'll also make sure that this chart is available for you on madebymommy.com so you can print it out uh, to work along or to remind yourself when you're away from your computer of the order of the rubber bands. So now we're going to repeat again up to the right, down to the right. Straight down, Number, say follow my own order, seven, eight, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, and then my final flower. One, two, three. For those of you that are lucky enough to have two looms, obviously you can just keep on repeating this pattern as many times as you'd like across your two looms. I'm just going to demonstrate this on one loom, but it will work the same on two. Yeah, just make sure, however many times you repeat, that ultimately you finish with your black rubber bands underneath going to this peg and then the flower on top. Okay, so once you have set up your rubber bands, again, first on the bottom, black and then your starbursts alternating with leaves starburst leaf all the way to the end of your one or two looms you're going to want to add caps in the center of each flower just as you would have on a plain starburst bracelet now when you first start doing this pattern I recommend contrasting the color uh, of the flower petals, but I, when I make these now, since I've done this 
a whole bunch of times. I actually use the same color as I used for the flower. So in this case, it would have been pink, but it's much harder to see the rubber bands underneath if you use the same color. I think that's the primary reason some people had trouble with my pumpkin design. It's because these cap bands were the same color on the pumpkin because everything has to be orange. And then it's much trickier to figure out which rubber band to catch when you can't see the contrast. So, so one in the center of each of your flowers and then add one also on the end. That's the top. Now we're ready to start hooking. So turn your loom as I have. You're going to pull back that top black band and catch that first pink flower petal. And then from the center, pull back again those black bands and catch the flower to the side. Taking them one at a time from the top so that they open up in a way that should be very familiar to you um, from doing starburst bracelets. Just a little less space to work with with these beads on the loom. There's your first. Then again, you want to always look to make sure you're getting the rubber band that's on top. The right. Go to the left. And then the center. And again here, pull back your top bands to the center. And to the center. And now repeat. So reaching into all of those greens to catch your one pink band underneath and going up. And to the side. Now, since you put your rubber bands on so carefully in the same order I do, you'll know exactly which rubber band you're expecting to catch. First this one, then this way, and around. center. Again, right. Left. And center. Right, left, center, right, left, 
left. center right and around full circle Okay, once again, I remind you that I've done this a whole lot of times. This might be your first time doing it. So if you need to, pause to catch up to the point where all of your flowers and all the leaves in between them are hooked. And then we're going to go straight back to the bottom so that we can start hooking the outer band. Now you want to take the one that is on top and bring it to the side. Catch the other, bring it to the side. And now we're going to work in a straight line on each of these sides all the way up and then all the way up the other side. Pulling up that black band that you put on in the beginning. This is what's going to hold everything together for you. Picking here. And this last one, again, take from the center and go to that middle peg right there. Then back down to the beginning to do the other side. You're going to want to look over your loom carefully to make sure you don't miss any one of these. I always take a look at the whole thing, the whole structure. And every now and then realize I have to go a little bit backwards, but the last thing you want to do is pull this off the loom. If you realize you've missed something in the middle, better to go back and fix it than to have to start over from scratch. So now I've moved the one from this end to the center peg. I'm just going to look over the whole thing again to sort of confirm that all the rubber bands are hooked as they should be. And then finally, this is what I like to do at the end. Um, rather than depending on a little C-clip to keep this all together, I'm going to reach in there to get that last black rubber band. Pull it up and over. Then I'm going to take the rubber band from the bottom up through. Release that and pull tight. So now that I have a knot on the end to keep this all secure. And we're going to hope for the best as we take this off. There you have it. 
I hope you like your flower beaded bracelet. If you do, please click like below and subscribe to get more videos from MadeByMommy.com. Thank you.